Episode 6. 500 years on the island and it is a very different place. When you look around you can see so many changes on the island. There are more people obviously and the islanders are more organised. People have moved into smaller communities. There are two main groups. The captains live in the north of the island. They feel that the old world needs to be remembered and are taking part in old celebrations. They want to keep everything traditional. I want to make sure that every detail of the story is kept exactly the same so that it is not lost. Every year at the remembrance celebration, the elite of the captains wear the ball gowns. The gowns are now very fragile and some of them have had to be sewn together or remade. The second group, the Leslies, they live in the south of the island. They think that the celebrations are important but disagree that only the elite can wear the ball gowns. They think that people should be able to wear what they feel most comfortable in and want people to wear clothes from the island not from the old world. They think that the ball gowns are not relevant on the island. The Leslies, well, they are the guardians of the story and think that it should focus on the island, not the old world. The captains disagree because they believe the old world is where they all came from, so it should not be forgotten. Because of this, they are arguing about who should look after the story. The Leslies control the law because they are the keepers of the book. And the captains are arguing that this is not fair as then they cannot have their say. The Leslies feel that they have moved on from that world and need to focus on this new island. Both groups will only marry members of their own group. The third group are called the competitions. They have descended from the people who won the cruise in a competition. They have to live on a part of the island that is not very fertile, so they struggle for food. The other groups have excluded them as they have said they do not contribute enough to the island and do not know how to farm so definitely cannot contribute to making the laws or keeping the story. The different communities are starting to have disagreements. The elders are weary of the disagreements. They can see that if they continue, there could be a war. They are unsure of what to do, as no one on the island knows of wars. So we have been on the island for 500 years. We are gathered today in the stone castle on the highest point of the island, the mountain, from which the waterfall and the stream of fresh water flows. The stone castle is our council chamber. It is known by the islanders as the castle in the clouds. We're gathered here to plan a special celebration for the 500th anniversary of the survival of the islanders and the establishment of the new community after the shipwreck. At this celebration, all the children who are reaching the age where they're responsible for themselves will be initiated as members of the island's community. Discussions have taken place about at what age do children then take that responsibility for their actions? And then discussions move on to what should happen at this celebration, this anniversary and this initiation of children into the community. Some suggest that the ball gowns should be worn by all the children as part of the tradition. Even the boys and the girls have to wear the ball gowns. 
That is the suggestion. And discussions take place about whether this is appropriate or not. Whether it's in keeping with the tradition or not. Then there's discussion about the story and whether it should be read at this celebration. But also, do we believe that the story is true? Does everybody have to believe the story is true? Did the old world really exist is another question that is discussed. Do we have any evidence that it did? Discussions go on about the story, but whether people believe it to be true or not, what they do know is that this story is important and also this place is important. As they make decisions about this anniversary, they decide not only to mark the past, but also to point to the future. And they open up the question of, what would it be like 5,000 years on this island? And they start to include in their celebration something that would point in that direction. Something to aim for. Something to wish for. That is the end of episode six. We have now finished all the episodes of this story. Yes, you need to keep on making sure that your notes are up to date for each of the episodes. And then you need to complete your journal. I've set a separate task on Go For Schools for the journal's deadline. So look on that and that will tell you when the journal needs to get to me. There are two ways in which you can do this. You could either, if you've been completing your journal and writing up your journal on the computer, just send it as a file to me. Or if you have handwritten and done something incredibly artistic, then take some photos or create a film showing me your journal in as much detail as you can, because I'd love to read it. I am really looking forward to seeing what you produce from this. If it's one of those that is quite artistic and handwritten, then please keep it. And when we get back to school, I'd love to see it and to be able to sit down and read it that way as well. On the link for the journal, I will also include all the links to all the episodes so that you have it all in one place and you can go back to seeing the previous episodes. Thank you so much for being part of this story and I look forward to seeing your journal. Oh, and by the way, there's a sequel to the story and that will come a little bit later on. I'll keep you posted on developments. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.